say that no one wants to listen to what I have to say. So I turned on my computer and started a weblog. Good evening and welcome to Blog TV. I'm the Flying Dutchman. Pin is on set with our guests. And today's Blog TV is a little different because while the show goes on, we're playing a game. We are pitting man against man, brain against brain, to find out who can solve a set of 10 PSLE math questions from previous years. Our two contestants sitting here, Matthew, a 31-year-old private banker with a degree in finance, and from Rosyth Primary School, 12-year-old Daryl, who's just completed his PSLE, and math is his favorite subject. Okay? Now, who is going to do better? We will find out at 10 o'clock. They started at 9.20. They've got until 10, and you guys have got a poll. Who do you think is going to do better in this competition that we're running? Is it going to be Matthew, who is 31 and has a degree in finance, or Daryl, who's 12 and has just done his PSLE? You do it on blogtv.sg or SMS blogtv space one or two to 73388. We'll find out later in the show just exactly who did better. That's what the question paper looks like. 10 questions they've got to do. Right now, I'll hand you over to Pin, and we'll find out what today's topic is all about. Okie dokie. So I'm still here. I actually still have a job this week. FD, they're looking well, I hope. Today's topic, mathematics, right? Can we count? Just two weeks ago, 12-year-olds across the country took the test of their little lives, the PSLE. After the math paper, parents have complained that their kids came out crying and were completely demoralized. So the question is, did the paper have to be so difficult? Okay, let's find out from our guests whether or not that is true. I think it was a, it was a horrendous paper. Um, let's find out uh, who we have and what, and what we're doing. Yeah, let's meet our guests. We have guest number one, Martin Lee. He's a parent of a 12-year-old son who just took his PSLE. He also has quite an interesting blog in FD. We'll tell we'll you bring a little it up later. about that later yep. on. We have guest number two, James Ang, who is a owner of a tuition center, James Ang Tutors. He's been doing that for three years. And we have guest number three, psychiatrist Dr. Adrian Wang. Thank you. Welcome to the show, everybody. Okay, let's start with you. Was the, did this paper have to be that difficult? Oh, at the moment, is that the, the, this year is the introduction of the usage of calculator. Mm. So in paper one, they're not supposed to use. In paper two, they are supposed to yep. use. Yep. So uh, I presume that they now, with the emphasis of taking the mental calculation and the calculation out from there, mm -hmm. more thinking questions are being injected into the papers. Mm -hmm. And also, the usual type of questions that from previous year, now it comes out a new set right. whereby the students actually have not been exposed. So they're finding it more difficult. So you're saying, you're saying it's more difficult. Did it have to be, yes or no? As of parents, of course, I would, my, my son who attempted the questions, uh, going there with a uh, heart that he's able to do well. Mm. And uh, I think coming up, he's not able to do some of the questions. Yeah, I I mean, think of is, of course, as a parent, you hope the paper is a bit easier yeah. so your son will do well. Uh, yes, but from an <laughs> educational <laughs> point of view, is, did, did the paper have to be difficult? Uh, this year's paper is really quite difficult. They have questions that are one after another. They, they are difficult to solve problems. Um, I think the rationale behind it is to actually uh, differentiate the different abilities of students mm -hmm. to, to differentiate those uh, who are high ability from those who have average ability. That's right. Because, I mean, the very definition of, a, of, a, of an examination means it, it should be difficult, right? I mean, what, what's the psychological impact on a child when a paper is too difficult for them to tackle? Adrian, your son is eight. He's heading towards this. That's right. Yeah. It's, it's, it's going to come. It's what gonna what come? is the yeah. psychological impact on a, on a child? Well, I mean, to answer your first question, did it have to be that mm -hmm. difficult? I think no. I think it was too difficult. Because if, if it's so difficult that, that most of the kids can't do it and most people get it wrong, then, then the exam doesn't serve its purpose because everybody's getting it wrong. Mm -hmm. um, psychological impacts, um, I mean, we read about kids crying and, and parents weeping and mm -hmm. much gnashing of teeth. Uh, but I, I think that it, we, we know it, it, it demoralizes the child. You know? It makes parents neurotic. Mm -hmm. you know, and uh, if you're on the brink, in other words, you're somebody who's really prone to stress, yeah. this, this is the thing that's going to tip but you over. Do you have any examples of 
neurosis in children, though, caused by a difficult mathematic paper? I have examples of neurosis in children and adults caused by academic stress. Okay. Unfortunately, it's not very common. Mm -hmm. um, people go through bouts of, of, of stress, anxiety, depression. In, in the patients that I see, uh, it's usually a, a academic stress. Yeah. Okay, let's yeah. take a look at the question, uh, the question in question. <laughs> uh, okay, here we go. Jim bought some chocolates and gave half of it to Ken. The English is terrible already. Yeah. Uh, Ken bought some sweets and gave half of it to Jim. Jim ate 12 sweets and Ken ate 18 chocolates. The ratio of Jim's sweets to chocolates became 1 is to 7. The ratio of Ken's sweets to chocolates became 1 is to 4. How many sweets did Ken buy? I don't know the I... answer to that. I do, however, know that those two kids are going to be a little chubby. Uh, would you be able this to answer that question? This was the most question? question in the paper. I, I lost you on the, two, on the second line exactly. already. Yeah. Exactly. So exactly. It's, it's an English test, not just a maths test. It's an English test. It's as an well. English test with bad yeah. English. And that's wrong. Uh, yeah. Is this is this what our children have to look forward to? Um, I agree that the language is not so straightforward in this case. Mm -hmm. So some students they got confused. It, it sounds like a riddle. It's it like, is. <laughs> but is it a typical question in a PSLE math paper? Uh, there are such questions which are uh, meant for students who have high ability to comprehend mm -hmm. and there are students who can do these questions yeah. in the ex actual exam. What would you say the percentage of kids who would who be could do something like this at 12 years old? A rough gauge. Maybe it's about 5 to 10 percent. That's ridiculous. Okay. okay. 5 to 10 percent. But would you, are you worried that it's too difficult for your child to be in the top 5 to 10 percent? Of course. Of okay. Course. Rate that question on a scale of 1 to 5. 1 being easy, 5 being absurd. Four. 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 Five. Five. I would yeah. say that's five. Yeah. I, you know, but, but, you know, who are we to say we can't count to begin with? That's true. <laughs> but mm. as a parent, is there something you want to tell the educators in Singapore when you see things like this in a, it, in a it, paper? It, during our times, basically, is the longer the questions, it's supposed to provide more information. Yeah. And it's easier for us to actually to, uh, you know, pick up the information and actually solve it. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. But in such a case, I think with uh, uh, different emphasis of uh, portions and in terms of ratios, uh, I think the, some of the kids will be lost over there. Right. Is it now, I mean, is it a problem with actual mathematics skills? Or do our children maybe have a problem with comprehension, with language instead? Um, the information are, are all inside this problem sums. So it's up to the student to summarize the information mm -hmm. into useful information in the form of a diagram That's right. or, or simple equations. Right. And then only once they can summarize this information into uh, data they can use, then they can solve the, the problem. That, and they are taught this in school, how to summarize this information and break it into the data that they need. Yes, they are taught uh, concepts like heuristics and yeah. models. I think okay. these uh, are taught in school. Okay. I'm going to give you another question. Uh, see if you can solve this math problem, some from the 2009 PSLE. May and Lin were in a bicycle race. May was traveling at a constant speed of 20 kilometers an hour, and they both did not change their speed. When Lin completed half the race, May was 3.5 kilometers ahead. May completed the race at 10.45 a.m. What time did Lin complete the race? Now, I have, I've seen questions somewhat like that when I was doing PSLE. Not quite that confusing, but somewhat well, like that. That's not a difficult question. The answer we, is 11.06 a.m. That's because you have the answer on your script. Thank you, producers. Uh, <laughs> but but we did this, and we put it up to our, to our, our viewers on, on Blog TV. Of all the people that answered, one got it correct. So that says one of two things. Either this is too difficult for a PSLE question, or we have really strange viewers. <laughs> I'm not quite sure which one. Or, you know, but it's a crazy question. Viewers who sit at the back of the class, I think. <laughs> Maybe. When we come back, we have to take a commercial break right now. But when we come back, we're going to be talking about, you know, maybe the paper's not that difficult. Maybe the parents are overreacting. I will also check on our game. Are you smarter than a 12-year-old? What's the poll number? Uh, well, if you want to vote on it, it's uh, Blog TV space one for Matthew, two for Daryl. Send it to 73388, or you can log on to blogtv.sg and vote there. That's it for this segment. We'll be back in just a little bit after the break. And just like that, one segment is over.
Okay. Only two to go.